This is Mike with Permaculture Cortez and out here in the backyard. Got this mind the mess, but that's the reason why I'm building this. Um, it curves here, stops, kind of like a doorway, and that curves all the way around to the back. So these two windows back here are frosted, so we'll have to look at them. Get to hide the ugly uh, AC unit. I'll have this washing sink in there. Um, the tumbler, this compost tumbler is gonna be behind the greenhouse. The rabbit's finally gonna go into his cage soon, I hope. But um, yeah, it's just kind of a, an experiment to see if I can you know, do some privacy um, slash hiding things. Um, I'm gonna put a second layer up here and then cut the tops so that they're flush. And then uh, I was thinking about growing Confederate Jasmine or basically anything that's kind of an evergreen that'll stay green year round. But I lo really love Jasmine because of the smell, like one of my top favorite smells. So that's, yeah, that's what I've been working on. Just kind of feeling it out and see where I want it. Um, so far, so good, I think. But yeah, I definitely need to get a second layer. I was. I'm kind of doing this as an experiment for my other property called Reformation Garden. And it's more going to be on a straight line. So I could do this to keep the dogs out. And then I was going to plan on like weaving bamboo between two poles. And that'll give it the extra height that I need to keep the dogs from jumping over the fence. Um, and there shouldn't be too much metal for people to steal. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I've had someone steal a chain link, um, not chain link fence, but just a chain uh, that I had across my driveway just kind of let people know that uh, not to go in as a visual barrier and I straight up stole it right off, off the post. So, yep, that's, oh, I'm gonna give you a look inside the greenhouse. This is a 10 by 20 got it off Facebook of all places and I got some plants in here some compost um, rabbit manures in here had a little extra hay from uh, the fall and uh, I think I'm gonna cardboard it and then mulch it just gotta find a bunch of cardboard I'm pretty much run out so this is just gonna be like a good seedling place uh, so I can put stuff in, start little seedlings, and um, kind of overwinter area, just to kind of keep these warm. But I'm gonna leave the door open just so that it can resist the cold, but not completely die. Um, unless it starts dropping, like we're talking about below freezing, then I'll actually close this to keep them warm. Otherwise, this is, oh, this is what the, the ground looks like so almost everything has died off there's a lot of root mass still and then some more troublesome things the the palms um, a couple string uh, things are here and it kind of pulls out a little easier it's a bit more aggressive I'm not really sure some kind of weed other than that it just came right out so that's it, it's killed off 99% of everything. All right, so this is Mike with Permaculture Cortez, over and out.